Here we have a cycle with uh, 31 vertices. In this drawing, the dots correspond to vertices, the lines are the edges, and the vertices are positioned so that their x-coordinate is the same as the content of the x-vector in the algorithm. The y-coordinate is just assigned to make the drawing more readable. It will be the same at every iteration. Initially, the x-vector is just random plus 1, minus 1 values, shifted in order for them to sum to 0. Then, at each iteration, the value of uh, every vertex is replaced by the average of what it was before and the average of the neighbors. So, for example, this vertex will become half what it was before plus half the average of the neighbors. So, we're going to see some vertices that were close to minus 1 be shifted to be around minus 0.5 and some vertices that were near 1 to be shifted to be near 0 0.5. Again, at the next iteration, every vertex will take the average of what it had before and the average of the neighbors. And see that every iteration, the arrangement is less and less random, and we start seeing the vertices that tend to want to be ordered according to the order in which they appear in the cycle. Progressively, the drawing will uh, disentangle itself because vertices that are far from its neighbors will tend to be pushed a little closer and this will pull vertices that are close to be a little farther apart. And we'll also pull uh, those high concentration of vertices away from each other. Remember that the real equation that we got will eventually tend to be very close to the optimal real equation which means that the vector itself will be close to being uh, in the um, eigenspace of the smallest eigenvalue. But the error that we're going to have at every step will be roughly linear in the number of steps that we are taking. Now, the smallest, uh, the second smallest eigenvalue of the Laplacian in a cycle with 31 vertices, it's very small. It's uh, in the order of uh, 1 over 1,000. So it might take several iterations to perfectly get a vector that is essentially an eigenvector for the second smallest eigenvalue. But already after these 40 iterations or so, we see more or less the vertices being aligned in the way they would be by an actual uh, eigenvector. But already if we give this vector as an input to the sweep algorithm, we will find an optimal cut of the cycle. Now here is the same algorithm applied to the hypercube, to an hypercube that has 16 vertices, so dimension 4. At the first step, every vertex is again assigned a random plus minus 1 label, and then the labels are slightly shifted so that they sum to 0. And at every step, every vertex will be updated to be half what it was before, plus 1 8 the summation of the neighbors. This is what we get after one step. This is what we get after two steps. And uh, already after uh, four iterations, we're going to get pretty much the structure that we would see if we kept going for a long time. So the vertices are going to be ordered by this vector according to the number of uh, zeros in their label meaning that if we order the vertices according to the corresponding entry in the vector, we're going to see them in uh, the same order as the number of ones that they have in the upper cube. So this vector will be first in the order, and then the, so this vertex will be first in the order, these other four vertices will uh, come more or less together, these other uh, six vertices will come together, these other four vertices will come together, and um, this one will be the maximum. This is, in fact, a good um, eigenvector. It's, uh, it is in the eigenspace of the second smallest eigenvalue of the Laplacian. It's unfortunately not a good vector to use for the sweep algorithm because it doesn't discover a optimal or a near optimal cut. But that's a known problem with the sweep algorithm when it's run using a um, random eigenvector from uh, the eigenspace of the second smallest eigenvalue.